in breast cancer, I think another uh, area that is extremely uh, important is in tumors that are HER2 positive. So we have small uh, phase two studies showing that Everolimus can revert resistance to HER2 therapies and toxins. And there are two large randomized trials going on. One is Boleto 1 and the other is Boleto 3 that are studying Everolimus with uh, testuzumab and chemotherapy in patients that have failed uh, testuzumab. Um, if those studies are positive, uh, that means that Everolimus will also have a role uh, in therapy of her positive uh, breast cancer. Now, this data of Bolero too is in second line therapy. I think a very important question is what's going to happen in first line? Is it going to be even a better effect of Everolimus in a patient situation that is most likely to respond? Or uh, even the adjuvant setting. I think it would be very important to launch as soon as possible a study in the adjuvant setting uh, where we could make major inroads. So I think the data of Bolero goes far beyond the patient population or the indication of Bolero. And what it does is that it opens up the whole field of mTOR PI3 kinase therapy.